Okay, morning. Today we're going to have a look underneath this panel and get into it. This is the, there uh, should be all the electrics underneath here because I need to get to it. No, nope, that's not doing it. Okay. Anyway, I'll get this panel off and then I'll come back to you and we'll have a, yeah, that's definitely not coming off. Right, I'll get panel off and then I'll show you what's underneath it. Hey, there we go. By the magic of whatever magic is. Get rid of that. So this is my mains battery. This is the onboard battery, not the, yeah, the, this is the engine battery. I'm going to kill those. They keep on. Rah, rah. Anyway, so this is the onboard battery. And what I'm going to try and do now is I'm going to, we've got plenty, we've got loads of connections. That's brilliant. So I want to now set up a trickle charger to charge my leisure batteries. I'm going to show you that as I'm doing it step by step. Okay, so that's what we're up to today. Okay, so this is the kit. I don't know why they sent me a ruler. I think I think one of these is missing because this is a two. What's it called? It's like a dual battery kit fitting instructions, and that's the instructions. I pretty. I think it's pretty straightforward. Right, there we go. So I'm going to start by. I'm going to do this by wind up this. So this is the this is a smart battery isolator. And the idea is to separate the, your mains battery from drawing power. Uh, well, only, only use it to trickle charge the battery so the engine is running. That's the general idea. So I'm going to have a look at these instructions. I'm going to start assembling it, but I will show you each step that I do. So first of all, in the kit. So we've got connection, I presume. I'll find out what they are. Shrink wrap. Ties. Connection so you can put these these stick to the floor then you put your connections through them tape Lugs and you have to squash down. I've got the tool for that Some screws I think it's three meters of um, flex core You've got your conduit To make sure everything's safe. You've got an, a short earth lead because you don't need much. You're just going to go to the body aren't you? I believe yeah Fuses Ah, straight away, see, there we go. So, your fuses will go, where are they? Here we go. That's your fuses. So you put an inline fuse there. You've got a spare of them. Other, can, oh, that's to go to the control unit. And then you've got two big lugs for your battery. I don't think we need, need them, do we need? I don't need them. Because on my batteries that I fitted, I've put these on already, which have got spare lugs to connect to. And then that unit. Sorry, not my big hand in the way. And some more, and some screws. So there we go. So I'll start putting it together. Okay, you're going to need a good pair of crimpers because these are not the easiest. I had to squeeze that in the vise in the end. I tried them, they didn't work. I got a little bit with them, but not tight enough, so I viced it and that got it really tight. Um, then you just nick this out with a Stanley, whatever you want to use. And I'm going to the start positive first. So if you look at that, can I zoom in? There we, uh, there we go. So that's your start battery positive, and that's what I've linked that to. Okay. And then the next one will be, let's have a look. Positive second battery. That's the internal battery inside, which will be that one behind my driver's seat there. So I'm going to the positive of that. Make sure you've got enough cable. I've got spare. I had it here when I was doing the build in the first place. Let me come out because it's a little bit big. Um, so I only ordered, my fault, I thought I ordered six meters, but I've only got three. But I can put an inline fuse, which is one of these, in between. Uh, and I've got spare cable here, so I'm all right with that. So that's fine. So I'm wiring this box up first and getting that done. I forgot I'm going to put a little bit of um, shrink wrap on that as well. All this is coated in a very thick film of like rubber. It looks like rubber, so it's all protected. So don't worry about you're not going to touch anything that it shouldn't be touching. But I'm going to put a um, shrink wrap on that now. I do have an extra box of. Um shrink wrap and connectors so I'm going to use these okay so I just popped to a tool station everywhere else was a bit dear and I bought this thing 
the beast. Uh, let's see what this does. So, add a little practice just to make sure that it fits okay. And just let me just get him in. Let me get him in. Right, okay. Oops. Okay, done. So I've crimped them and then I'm just going to shrink wrap them. Make sure it's nice and tight and nice and safe. I don't touch anything else. Alright. So I've got two short ones which I've made up. And they have to go to the fuses in between. Fuse <coughs> block, so that'll go in there between that and then the cable on top as well. Okay, so I'm making two of these up, which is like your fused part for both batteries. So two short little stumpies, and then on here will go the other end that goes to each battery. So all the other doesn't matter which way round. Okay, so here's one made up. Uh, sorry about the yellow shrink wrap, but that's all I've got left, because <laughs> these don't fit. Alright, so it doesn't matter, as long as it's protected, I don't care. Uh, so that's one made up, and then you just pop this lid over, and it closes and locks into place like that. That's your fuse done, and then this will screw to the wall, and this end will bend round and go to the, one of the batteries. I'll show you when it's finished anyway. So... Just connected this fuse one to this coming underneath the seat. We can see the cable running down there. And then this will go to this battery, but not just yet. Okay, hold on one second. All right, so what I'll do now, when it's all connected, this is the fuse I did, I showed you that earlier. This will go to one of these terminals here, but not just yet. Okay, sorry, this will go to one of these terminals here. I've decided which one, it doesn't matter. This will tuck down, hopefully down there out of the way. And then this stuff, I've got plenty of this at home as well. Um, this will go and run all the way down to protect it. So there's no rubbing. You do not want this to rub against your earth. So when they send you this stuff, it's for a reason, all right? So that'll go down under the seat, around here, comes out underneath there. It's all a mess, I know, at the moment, but we'll tidy it up soon. And then it comes to this bit. So this is what I'm up to at the moment. I have just popped on the earth strap onto there. Just put a little, um, whatever you call that. And another yellow one, sorry, because I can't run out. And then we'll just take the back off. And there we go. So this short one, this is the short one. This will go to my internal battery. And if we read that, there it says there. It says secondary battery. Can you let me just let me just zoom in? Let's make sure you get it right. Not too far. Zoom. Come on, guys. There we go. It's upside down, but second battery. That's internal battery. Let me just turn this around for you. Start battery which is the red one, I made sure, and the other one is secondary battery. Because I read out, but I thought, well, I'll do that anyway. So that's where we're at. So this one, the yellow one, with the shorter lead, zoom in. This one with the shorter lead and the fuse on will go to the battery. There, this is like, they call it the house battery or the leisure battery, whatever, like we call them leisure batteries, so. Let's go into that. And if you look at the terminals, they are brilliant terminals. I bought them. I'll put a link in the description down below for them as well. They clip on, push on, and then you've got all those connectors. So that'll go on the wall there, this, this power unit. And I'll show you all that, and then we'll show you when it's all connected up as well. Okay, so I'm going to put that on the wall. This is my battery one, like I said. The short one with the fuse on. The other one goes to the front of the vehicle, under the seat. I'll put all the lagging on as well. This is an earth one I made up last night. This is a short, stumpy one. This will go from your leisure battery. Let me just tidy it up. So that'll go from the leisure battery, negative there. And it'll go to the chassis somewhere here. I will drill a hole and then I'll put a little bolt in and it'll go in there. Uh, so that'll be earthed to the vehicle 
and then I'll show you. I'll show you. And then we're going to put the mount the thing at the back there. That wall is um, 14 mil thick, and there's no wires behind it. I'll rephrase that. There is wires behind it. I meant to say. So you've got to be careful when fitting it. You don't want to go through the wires. All right. So I know they go straight up there. So I'm going to probably go to the left of it. Okay. Popped in there. A couple of nice screws. Going down, that'll fit to the battery, the battery one closest. I'll show you that. Yep. I'm just tucking the wires in. I'm going to get that cable tidied up. Where are we? So there's the battery one. That's the leisure battery. Okay, and then the other one I'm going to feed through, tidy it, put that conduit on, and that's going to go underneath there, through, under the seat there. You can see it go, and into the mains battery. And that's where we're up to so far and then we'll give it a test and I'll show you how it works. Okay so we've now put the conduit on, the nice flexy stuff we got here on both. I'll tack that to the wall, that runs down on both back of the battery and then underneath the seat. You can see it just there, that runs into it, the battery that in. Uh, I'll tack them to the wall now and uh, next job is, oh yeah, here we go. So down there, if you can see that hole. That's a pre-drilled and pre-tapped with one of these washy jobby thingies. Uh, what I'm doing, I'm just cleaning it, get it down to the bare metal. I'll use a file in a sec. And then that's the earth clamp from the leisure battery. And that's got to go to the body. And then the next one is that earth clamp sit in there. That little one. And that's got to go down to the battery, so I've got to extend that. And that's where we're up to. And I think we're ready for testing then. Yeah? Okay, wire walled it, well wire brushed it with a drill and then sanded it and I'm just going to tighten it up. 